in Foxtel store. Welcome back. A woman has raised concerns. A Labor MP has intimate photos of her and says the Labor Party didn't take her complaints about the matter seriously. The Daily Telegraph is reporting the former love interest of newly elected Labor MP for Benelong, Jerome Laxall, is alleging he asked her for private photos during the course of their exchanges but assumed he would delete them. She reportedly raised the issue with Labor but they were brushed aside. No suggestion is made that Mr Laxall inappropriately shared images, only that there are concerns around New South Wales Labor complaints process. Sky News has also approached Jerome Laxall for comment, but he is not addressing the allegations. The New South Wales Labor spokesperson said New South Wales Labor takes all complaints very seriously and treats them with the utmost confidentiality. Joining me live now is Liberal Senator Sarah Henderson. Sarah, thanks so much for your time. What are you suggesting has gone wrong here? Well, Laura, good morning. And of course, we've seen the report in the Daily Telegraph today, uh, serious allegations from a woman uh, involving the Labor Party's complaints processes. What we do know is that she has made three separate complaints and it appears all of those complaints have been basically shoved under the carpet. Uh, no action has been taken. She's now made a formal complaint following the election. And so I am calling on the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, to take these allegations seriously, to tell Australians what he knew at the time, what action was taken, why these complaints weren't taken seriously, and what is the Prime Minister going to do in relation to Labor's failed complaints process. Why is this the responsibility of the Labor Party? Isn't this the responsibility of two individuals? Absolutely not. Uh, Laura, uh, this was a woman, as reported this morning, working on Jerome Laxale's campaign. They had previously had some sort of relationship, but she was working on the campaign as a friend. She saw these intimate images uh, reportedly on Mr Laxale's private computer uh, through that they were reported to her through some Liberal Party volunteers, I understand. She made a complaint and then she was taken off the campaign and she was then removed from social media. So it, see, mm. it seems from the very beginning that her complaint was not taken seriously. She then made another complaint to Labor Party headquarters in New South Wales Again, it appears nothing was done. And now she has made a third complaint following the election on the 23rd of May. So this is absolutely the responsibility of the Prime Minister. This is the Labor Party at work. Hang on, why? And why is it the responsibility of Labor? This is because he was a, a Labor candidate? Why isn't this a, a private and matter? Well... It's absolutely the responsibility of the Labor Party and it's the responsibility of the Prime Minister to explain to the Australian people about Labor's complaints processes. Mm. If the Prime Minister is saying that they take these processes and complaints seriously, then that needs to be demonstrated. And clearly that hasn't occurred. And that's why I believe that the Prime Minister does need to provide full and complete answers as to why serious complaints made by right. a woman were not apparently taken seriously. OK, so the relationship was consensual. Uh, the photos were given not under duress. Has Jerome Laxall done anything wrong? Look, I'm not making that allegation and that's not yet really known. We do know by this report this morning that apparently there were intimate images on his private computer, yeah. which this woman says she assumed had been deleted. So it appears at the very least that they were not authorised to remain on his computer and certainly not for public display, which apparently has happened. So this woman has raised a very legitimate complaint Mm. Um, this is obviously very distressing. But, but why raise um, it with the, you... with the why raise it with the party? Why not raise it with authorities? Why is this the the party's obligation rather than any uh, police body or anything like that? Well, this may well be also a matter for the police, and I think mm. perhaps 
uh, this may also be a matter for the safety commissioner. As you would know, Laura, uh, under our government, mm. we pass very uh, important laws to protect um, Australians in relation yeah. to the um, obviously the transmission. Well, that's of my point. Well, shouldn't, well, shouldn't, so, shouldn't this woman in question be raising these concerns with the police or with the A Safety Commissioner? And wouldn't it be within Labor and Anthony Albert and Easy's right to to wait to see what those authorities said? Well, she obviously initially made the complaint with Labor, and that's yeah, but very anyone can make him a, a complaint. Senator, you know that, and we know yeah, what absolutely. is. We know that how this can be used as a political weapon. Aren't you concerned about that as well? Well, I am concerned that if this sort of incident happens, that this was not taken seriously by New South Wales Labor. But, but how well, do you that know that? Important. Just because they that... haven't put a complaints mechanism forward, isn't this for the e safety yeah. commissioner yeah. and the police? Well, Why is it for well, Labor to it... deal with? Well, I think it's a very important, a very very important that if anyone is working. Uh, with the Labor Party on a campaign and something like this happens, that women have a right to be heard. Right. Women okay, have a fair right. Enough. If they've got a they if they've had if something serious has happened like this, they have a right to be heard, Laura. They have a right to Indeed, make Indeed they do. And they have a right to have their complaint taken seriously. Now there's been three separate complaints and so far it appears these complaints have not been taken seriously. It may well also be open to this woman to go to the police, it may also be open to her to go to the e-safety commissioner. But at the very least, Laura, uh, the Labor Party needs to take these allegations seriously. Well, you say you, the Prime Minister, the now Prime Minister, should have known. If he did know, what did he do? Do you really expect the, the leader of a party to get involved in the extent, in, in personal relationships to this extent? Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is that what did the Prime Minister know? Was this brought to his attention when this, uh, these images were obviously made public in about mid-April? Uh, what did the Labor Party know? What processes were undertaken at the time? What were the complaints that were investigated? What advice was given to this woman? Why was she removed from the campaign? Why was she shut down from social media? Why was she made to feel like she had done something wrong? That does not seem to be an appropriate way to respond. I mean, if the ALP had responded yeah. correctly and simply said, well, look, this is inappropriate, Mr Laxale, uh, perhaps you might want to remove these images from your computer. But how do they know that? Are they, are they meant to conduct an investigation in, they're, into they're themselves? Meant to do, they're meant to do everything to stand up for this woman when she raises mm. serious allegations with the Labor Party. But as I say, it appears from the report today, Laura, that she has been failed by the Labor Party's internal processes and it may well be open to her to take this further. But at the very least, Australians do deserve a proper explanation as to what's happened, who knew what, why the Labor Party didn't take this okay. more seriously and what is the status with the current complaint now before the Labor Party in New South Wales. All right, we'll check on that. Sarah Henderson, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, yeah, great to talk to you, Laura. And Tom Conner.